Back here to wrap it up, Glacier Peak wins the girls, the 4A, 69-51. You're seeing some replays tonight, but Scott Oshman, Tim Boyle, Ron the Wedge, Henthorne, Ronnie, hit them with some numbers tonight, some big ones. Some big numbers for Glacier Peak tonight. We had Haley Gramble with 12 points and a really good game out of her tonight. Yeah, she was, she's like Charlie Hustle out there. Sydney Guffey coming in strong in the second half with five. Sydney had a big three, though, tonight that was And, and Collins crucial. was six in the second half. Both those two girls in the second half were good. But the big numbers, again, were Alexis, who we had up here for the player of the game with 28. And Abby Josephitis was 16 for Glacier. Yeah, Peak and tonight. I think four of the four or five of those were three pointers. Five right? of them. Five were. of them. Yep. So five of her 16 points. So she had one from the line. One from she the had line. some just big three pointers. And, and on the losing side over there for Kamiak, not that they really lost the game, they just lost it in numbers. But they played a heck of a game out there tonight with uh, Hunter Barron with 10 points, Alexis Gallagher with 17 points, fighting hard, and Carolyn Brunner with 11. Your favorite shooter out there tonight. Yeah. Too. <laughs> That was that was fun to watch. Just, and she only missed like one basket the whole game and just had that really interesting shot. The tough thing about Kamiak there was those three girls were carrying them all night long. Yeah. They're pretty much the only three scoring out there. And they got to have to get some more help out there with uh, with uh, a couple of the other girls uh, that they have in the past. And again, the, the game was a lot closer than the score. I mean, one more run for... You know, one more run for Kamiak, and it could have been a whole different score. But, you know, it was tight all the way through till the fourth quarter. For Glacier Peak, next up is at Monroe Friday night. And then next uh, on the February the 5th at uh, home here, Mariner will finish out their season. Kamiak heads out uh, to at Min, uh, Mount Vernon on Friday, and then they have a big one at home against Jackson on February 5th. Now, for everybody who loves and watches STSBN, tomorrow night, 7 15 tip we switch to the boys 4a wesco it's glacier peak and monroe playing i don't care what steve willett says they're playing for a lot they're playing for <laughs> one and two one and yeah two. you know and it's kind of, we're bringing you back to back espn here i mean this was huge playing for really for second that second and third spot tomorrow's for the one and two spot probably so just and as a teaser, back tomorrow to night we didn't get to it because of all the excitement. Tomorrow night in the pregame, we're going to break down the Archbishop Murphy. Oh, yeah, everybody's they got an opinion on that. They are playing in Wesco. More on that tomorrow night. For, Hold your thoughts. For Tim Boyle, Ron the Wedge Henthorn, five-tool player, Todd Elvig, and thank you. Big thanks to uh, Steve Willits, the mayor, Scott Oshman, saying so long. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night, everybody. Good night.